This video will demonstrate how to integrate peaks using Topspin. If you click on the Process tab and then select Integrate, you'll get a new menu here that you can use to integrate the peaks. When this first icon here is orange, that means it's selected, and you can click and drag, and everything between the red lines will be integrated. So I can continue this process over here, and everything I think might be important, I can integrate. If I later decide that I want to split one of my integrated regions into two, I can select this cut integral icon here and then use the red cursor to designate where I'd like the integral split. Now I have two values here where there used to be one. Furthermore, if you would like to move your integrals up and down on the spectrum, that is doable using these icons here. Um, you can also use multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 to do the similar effect. You can use these green icons here to select one integral at a time. You can tell which integral is selected by looking at the green filling in the bottom of the screen. Now, if I need to do some sort of base correction or correcting the shape of the integral, I can do this one at a time when an integral is selected. It's important that the integral be shaped correctly in order to get an accurate value. So what you're looking for is a flat line with a slope of zero before the integral and a nice smooth arc and then a flat line at the end. So if I have this integral selected and then I click on this um, bias correction icon and click and drag up and down, you can see that the lines are changing and same thing happens with the slope. So you can just kind of mess around with those until you've got a nice integral shape and you'll notice that the value actually changed when that happened which is important because you're getting more accurate results if you actually do this. So if I move on to the next integral, I can do the same process again. Just evening that out. And again. And for this final one, I'm actually going to make it shorter so that I can see better before I go ahead and flatten out those slopes. Now when I'm finished, um, you want to select an integral that you're pretty certain only is standing for one proton. In this example, I'll use this first peak. You can right click and then choose calibrate current integral and set the value to 1 and that will adjust all of your integral values based on that and you'll see that now I've got values that are really close to 1 and 2 and 3. Finally when I'm finished with my integrals I can select this icon to save and return.